how do you feel about free downloads? I noticed some of your tracks on the playlist you made for today are free downloads and some mm -hmm. aren't. So what's mm -hmm. the strategy behind that? So usually if they aren't, it's because I know that like a writer is already doing something with it, but the exclusive is kind of like still in the air, <laughs> but it kind of just like, you know, out of respect for the person writing, like I might not leave it up as like a free download anymore because I know that there's somebody interested. But for all the other ones that do have a free um, download, it's kind of like a free for all. And I know like people they'll like rip beats off of youtube all day but at least if i'm giving them like the free option i at least get their email in exchange for it so i mean it might not be like a, a sale for that time period but who's to say it's not going to lead to that though and at least i have like their direct contact information so that's kind of like my strategy behind it and you know like just as an artist also like if I could get the free version of it, and I'm not like crazy with putting my tag every 15 seconds yeah. or something. So it's like, yo, if they catch a vibe and actually like record like a soft demo to it, I'm knowing like that might be something that they purchase later on. You're 100% right. I think it's you're giving again, you're giving yourself more options. You're not leaving anything on the table. You're you're kind of, you know, putting it's like almost like investing, like, oh, invest in stocks, invest in bonds, invest in crypto, invest in sports cards, whatever it is. You're kind of giving yourself little ways of having opportunities. So, again, people are going to rip beats off of YouTube. They're going to rip them off SoundCloud. They're going to rip them off Instagram. People will rip a loop and then loop it over and over and wrap over yeah. that. And I've seen it all. I, I've done I've done it all. <laughs> uh, unfortunately back back in the day you know like you know mm -hmm. I, it's it's listen it happens um so i think i think why not give them that option and get their data you know get their email um we have uh, uh app on their sms app on beatstars integrated too you can get people's phone numbers in exchange for you know a free beat um you know you can tag it so it doesn't have to be all all tagless but definitely let them try to catch a vibe um end of the day if something happens you're gonna be in a good position because you know, you have ownership of the beat, you have ownership of the publishing, you have ownership of a lot of things that, you know, kind of now the artist needs to negotiate with you. So right. um, overall, I think it's it's going to happen. So why not try to be proactive about it and, and get something out of it, more out of it? You know, like I said, data, uh, ways to remarket. So, um, yeah, it's a crazy game. Listen, we didn't make the rules. We're just trying to we're just trying to <laughs> we're just trying to keep up and find, you know, unique ways to work, collaborate. Um, you never know. An artist might not have the money, you know, they might, they really might not have that $20, $30 release. So, um, I'm not saying give away all your beats for free, but what I'm saying is to have that option, I think is beneficial, um, for sure.